Benjamin Naptali Dan What's up, it's a cup, it's a cup Ain't from getting Ruben, can't forget Zappy Blunt Levi Ash, I'm an asshole, what's up, send me young Into the trap of Judah, that's where I'm from Benjamin Naptali Dan What's up, it's a cup, it's a cup Ain't from getting Ruben, can't forget Zappy Blunt Levi Ash, I'm an asshole, what's up, send me young Into the trap of Judah Judah, that's where I'm from. When we do battle, you know who first up is Judy. Yep, try pride, but you know I still got love for all of us. Praise God, fighting off these demons in the graveyard. Stay scripted up, out your mouth, the law must not depart. Otherwise, it's so hard trying to decide what's right from wrong. What feel good is satisfying, and most that's a heavy yoke that'll leave you slow. What got me pops being in the world takes we first bite. Sisters never wore pants right. until the 60s. Right right until the white woman was fighting for feminist movement and pulled the black sister along with her. Let me ask you something. How come the Arab women don't wear pants in Bring Saudi Arabia? Yeah. Bring it up. In Kuwait, yeah. in Dubai, in Iran. How come the Arab woman is in subjection to her laws? Is in subjection to her head. But the black woman, she don't want she wanna do what she do. Why? Who put that thought in her head? Who put that doctrine in her head? The people with the money. Esau. Romans 125 again. Esau, the so-called white man when he's really red. He told the sisters she could do what she want. He told the sisters 50-50. He told the sisters you are above your black man. Right. But that is not so according to the Bible. Bring it out. The man is the ruler of the house. That's right. And these sisters ain't gonna get in order until you weak, effeminate, lazy, and crazy, and frayed black men Step up, right. pull your right. pants up and be men, and right. set these women in order. That's right. Read what you got. The book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 25. Read it out. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? So who changed the truth of God into a lie? Who changed it? Who's the man? Who's the man? Bring it Who's out. the man that passed the law two women can get married, two men can get married? Who did that a couple of weeks ago? Was it us? Was it the Hispanic white man? man? Was it the Native American? The white man. The red man. Let's call him red because he ain't white. White means pure. He don't look like this. Show me a white man on this earth, this complexion. The color of this board right here. The color of your t-shirt. He's red. That's why down south they call him redneck. That's right. He is red. He is red. All of that is terminology and mind tricks. Because, listen up, listen up. Don't speak over me. Listen up. When you look up, when you look at the definition of white in the dictionary, what you gonna see? Pure, angelic, undefiled hope. But when you see black, what do you see? Dirty, grimy, defiled, witchcraft, sin, unholy. That's all my tricks because you are not black. Right. You're different shades of brown. That's right. Now all of a sudden in 2015 we don't know color because we have. We have become so stupefied in America, we lost everything. Drop that in Jeremiah. We lost everything in America. Bring it out! We continue to break God's law. Sister, do you know a woman in pants is sin according to God? Do you know that tattoos is sin according to God? Did you know that? You knew that. How long did you know that? Because we know the Christian church don't teach that. Over 20, over 20 years. Slow down is going to say, come over here and give me your money. Over money, 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 money. But That's every night I ask God so for my forgiveness. Huh? I said over 20 and years, but every night I ask God for forgiveness and to see. Listen up. Listen to what God says. Listen. The book of Jeremiah, 17 verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage. Stop. As a nation of people, have, have we discontinued from our heritage? So you agree with that? I'll show you the proof. What is your nationality, young lady? What are you? She don't in America. That's, that's, a, that's an answer. Mm -hmm. I'll take that, but you should know. You're going to know today. Right. That's right. That's right. That's with the blue. Man. Are you her mom? I'm her grandmother. Oh, you're her grandmother. Mm -hmm. What is your nationality? African American. African American. Two isolated nationalities. Say right there. What is your nationality? Mm -hmm. That's what it's Africa. What is your nationality? Ah. I agree. Very good. What is your nationality? African. What is your nationality? Brother right there with the blue shirt. 
What is your nationality according to God? Bring it out! So you see, our people don't know. You ask 10 black people, what is your nationality? You'll get 20 different answers. African American is a hyphenated nationality. And Jeremiah 17 verse 4, get Isaiah 1 and 3 first. Is a hyphenated nationality that comes from two white people. Scipio Africanus and Amerigo Vespucci. Bring it out! So why are we calling ourselves African American? Remember, when we got off them slave ships and we were sold unto our enemies, they were calling us what? Negroes, niggas, Negroes. We got a Negro for sale, like right here, on the auction blocks. We were called Negroes, right? Then they changed it to what? Color. Then they changed it to what? Black, nigga, Afro-American. Then. African American. Every 10 years, our nationality is getting changed. Why? Because they want to keep us destroyed. The white man will not tell you who you are in these last days. But God prophesied that. It's not his fault. The white man is doing his job. But as a nation of people, we're not doing our job. And this is a prime example of not doing our job. But you got new leaders today that's going to stand up for God's truth. Read what you got. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. Uh -huh. The ox. Knoweth his owner. Listen up, sister. The ox knoweth his owner. What is an ox? Huh? What is, a, what is the literal meaning of an ox? Have you ever been to a Jamaican restaurant? Have you ever ate oxtail? What does the oxtail come from? A worker or an animal? The ox is an animal. Read. And the ass his master's crib. No, read it again. So she the, the ox knoweth his owner. God says this animal, the ox, knows his owner. Read. And the ass his master's crib. What is an ass? A donkey. The ass knows his master's crib. I can take a donkey, walk it 10 miles down, leave. The donkey will find its way back to the original owner through the, through the power of sense. Right? Read. But Israel does not know. God says our people don't have the common sense. That's right. God says our, Nehemiah 8 and 8. Our people don't have the common sense because we don't know who we are. Right. We don't consider who we are. We right. don't know who we are. Bring We're calling out. ourselves African American, black, colored, all these different nationalities except for God's true nationality, the nation of Israel. God says we have no common sense. Nehemiah 8 and 8. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 8, verse 8. So what is our job, sister? What are we doing? Are we here to bash our sisters, bash our brothers? No. We're here to tell you the truth of God's laws, that we are the real Jews. We are the Israelites. We must repent. This is folly. This is folly which is set in great dignity. This is foolishness. Our men walking around with their pants below their butt. Foolishness. Our sisters dressed like whores. Foolishness. Read. The book of Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 8. Uh -huh. So they read in the book. In the law of in the what? In the law. This is the book of the law. Because laws are contained in the Bible. This is not a book of myth. This is the book of the law. Read on. Of God distinctively. Of what? Of God distinctly. You see how we're going from chapter to chapter to prove all things? When I like the pastors, read one line, close a book, and speak for an hour my own opinion. God says we spoke distinctly, distinctively out of his book. Read. Right. And gave the sin. And gave the what? And gave the sin. Because our people lack common sense. You listen to sister? Focus. Focus on the word. Our people lack common sense. So God says we have to give them the sense. We have to let our sisters know that they are from the nation of Israel. That's right. They are special and a holy people. We got to come out out of the Horus apparel. Right. We got to come out dressing like men. Right. We got to put ourselves up as the true children of God. That's right. And cause them to understand the reading. And cause them to understand the reason. Understand the reading. Give me first, first Timothy. First Timothy. You know what I want, modest and perfect. First Timothy chapter two. Yeah. Now we gonna read. We gonna read this book and you gonna get the full understanding of the Bible before we leave. Read. The book of First Timothy, chapter two, verse nine. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. You hear that? The women are supposed to adorn themselves in modest apparel. You hear that, brother? That's gonna stop the rape in our community. That's gonna stop men just trying to get with you just to get some ass, just to lay down with you. And next thing you know, knock you up, give you a disease, and then he's out. 
God says our women are supposed to dress in modest apparel. A woman in pants is not modest apparel. Right. A woman in poom poom shorts is not modest apparel. A woman showing her cleavage is not modest apparel. That's right. right. Read on. With shame, with shame faceness. With shame face meaning not in a man, not in a man's face. Not looking at a man like this. Trying to give him the eye, trying to lure, lure, lure him in so he can talk to you. So you could give him the digits and you could hook up later on. And then next you know what happens, he leaves you with a baby. Chicago has one of the highest rates in single black women. Do you know that? If we apply God's command system, that would bring back, bring down those statistics. What do you think about that, brother? What do you think about the single black woman, the rate of the single black woman in Chicago? Situation. Sad situation, right? Now, how do you think we can fix that? Give me some steps. Do you think the Bible offers solutions? It should. Huh? It should. What is it? Are, are you a Christian? Do you want to go to church? Right? Rolled up in the Catholic. Yeah. Catholic. Catholic church. Okay. What is that? What is that? What is that? Uh, uh, what are the solutions on that? Unity, trust, okay. and love. Alright, this is the first step. We're just stopping the black women from becoming a single black woman with five kids all over the With no daddy in the house. Read that again in First Timothy. The book of First Timothy, chapter 2, verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. You hear that? The Bible says a woman is supposed to adorn herself in modest apparel. A woman ain't supposed to dress like a man, like a damn lesbian. All right? A woman is not supposed to dress like a harlot, a whore. Read. With shamefacedness. Meaning not in everybody's face. And sobriety. And sober-minded. Meditating on God's laws. Read on. Not with broided hair. Not with what? Broided hair. Not with broided meaning. Not with just braided hair only. Because it's okay for our sisters to braid their hairs. But when you make the, your outward appearance, that's it. Something is wrong with you. You lack self-esteem. You lack knowledge. Read. Or gold. Or what? Or gold. Or gold. Or pearls. Or costly array. Or costly array. Meaning your outward appearance is not supposed to be the only thing you concentrate on. We are supposed to rehearse the righteous acts in keeping God's laws. Now, when a woman dress modestly, a man is gonna second guess going like this. You know how you know how our young brothers will walk past a sister? Sister will be walking this way, our young men be walking this way. And we'll be like, yeah. Looking at her butt, looking at her cleavage, looking at her shape. Because if our sisters wore dresses, wore the long dresses, guess what? You would look modest, your shape would not be revealed. So that's one less thing you would have to worry about hooking up with a whoremonger brother. Next thing you know, our sisters will go on the Maury show. Maury Povich. The tenth, the tenth brother come out. You are not the father. The sister jumps up. <laughs> pulling her weave all to the side. Because that brother who laid down with her ain't the father. She don't know who the daddy is. Why? Because she has played the whore. She has played the whore. Right. Get me that. The book of Ecclesiasticus. Listen up. Read. Chapter 6 uh -huh. and verse 7. Uh -huh. If thou... Wouldest get a friend. If thou wouldest get a friend, sister. If thou wouldest get a husband, brother. If thou wouldest get a wife, read. Prove him first. Prove him first. How do you prove somebody first, sister? Give me some action. Court them, very good. That's a very good word. Where did you get that word? How you know about that word? <laughs> huh? Very good, so you have some knowledge. Let him come amongst your family. Let him come amongst your mama. Not sneaking him in the crib when mama's gone. And he's hitting it off, breaking you off. Next thing you know, you get pregnant and he's gone. The Bible says to prove a friend. Read it again. If thou wouldest get a friend, uh -huh. prove him first. Read on. And be not hasty to credit him. Ah, man, man, he drives a Range Rover. Sister, he making 80,000 a year. He got it going on. He got big hands, big feet. Mm -mm -mm. I want that man. Next thing you know, that man got 10 other sisters, 10 other girlfriends that you don't know about. And he creeping with you on the late night. Now you knocked up. Now you played the whore. He hit it, he ran. You trying to call him, his number changed. He's gone. So we're supposed to prove a friend. Hebrews 13 and 4. We are supposed to prove it. That's how we're going to drop 
the high rates of single black women in our community. Read. Come on. Hebrews 13 and 4. The book of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4. Bring uh -huh. it out. Marriage is honorable in all. The third thing to do is to get married. Marriage. Marriage. Oh, you married. you and your spouse do in the bedroom that is between you as long you are not breaking the laws of God like having sex on her menstrual is against God laws right. having sex with your wife on her menstrual is against God's law having a threesome is against God's laws right. men with men is against God's laws two lesbians is against God's laws right. and you are going to die a terrible death when Christ returns, if you are caught up in that midst of sin. That's right. We must repent before Christ makes his second return. Read it again. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. How does, what are some ways that God judges a whoremonger, a brother that refuses to keep his penis in his pants, bounce from woman to woman, an adulteress, a woman that sleeps with a married man, or a woman that plays a whore? What are some ways God's bring forth judgment? What are some ways? What are ways God bring judgment? You drop that paper on the floor. What are some ways? Now I know you know, I know you know. What are some ways God brings judgment on a on an adulterer and a whoremonger? Sickness. Sickness. Sick. Very good. Sickness. Yeah, we're gonna read the scripture. He let the Bible talk. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 61. Uh -huh. Also, every sickness. Every what? Sickness! Every what? Sickness! Your brother said sickness. Every sickness, read you know on, and every plague, uh -huh. which is not written in the book of this law, uh -huh. them will the Lord bring upon thee. HIV is not written in the Bible. That is a sickness that you can catch from being an adulterer, being a whoremonger. Syphilis is not in the Bible. That is a disease you can catch from being an adulterer, being a whoremonger. Gonorrhea is not written in the Bible. Herpes, chlamydia, hepatitis. Those are not written in the Bible. But you can catch that from just hopping around having sex. Bring it out! Give me Hebrews 13 and 4. The book of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4. Go to Romans. Marriage is honorable in all. So marriage is honorable in all. But now America says two men can get married. Right! Two women can get married. Bring it out! What are your thoughts on that? I don't like that. No! Explain to each his own own To me. Okay. I can accept her to my town. You can accept her. Romans 1 verse 32. This is for our people who say to each his own, or I accept it because it's of my daughter. Read. Romans chapter 1 and verse 32. Uh -huh. Who knowing the judgment of God, uh -huh. that they which commit such things. Stop. God says, who knows the judgment of God? For they who commit such things, the act of homosexuality, the act of lesbianism. Right. Read. Are worthy of death. God says, surely you are worthy of death. Surely when I put you behind to death, you are worthy of death. Read on. Not only do they... Hold on, hold on, listen up. Not only... Listen, listen, listen. Not only do the same, but 
Have pleasure in them that's that do them. You hear that, brother? Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. When you say to each his own, technically you're saying you have pleasure in those acts. Right. You're not doing it yourself, but it's okay if they do it. God says we are not supposed to do that. That's right. We are not supposed to do that. Right. You are supposed to be against anything that's that is right. against God. Psalm 94, right. 16. The book of Psalms. Chapter 94 and verse 16. Uh -huh. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? What did God say? Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Who? I'm posing that question to y'all. God is asking you, who will rise up for me against the evildoers? They're gonna rise about you. The gay gonna rise against you. Huh? The gay gonna rise against you. Are you gonna run back? They gonna rise against you. God says, who's gonna rise up for me against? Listen, listen, folks, wait, folks. Don't let the music throw you off. God says, who is gonna rise up for me against the evildoers? Meaning, who's gonna stand up for God's law? Who's gonna stand up for against homosexuality? Who's gonna speak against lesbianism? You have to correct, listen, you have to correct your daughter. You say your daughter's a lesbian? You gotta tell her that is against God's law. Hello, this is, I'm Elgin Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.